Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I have 27 big money bolos coming your way. Items I bought low and sold for big profits. So we are going to get started here. And these items range from $35 up to, it looks like, all a $99.99 sale. So, oh, and there's one for $175. That one was my husband's, but we will talk about that. So, um, yeah, let's get started. I'm going to tell you where I got the item, what it sold for, and what I paid for it. Um, these are items that I pick up at garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores, Facebook marketplace, you name it. So let's get started. All right. So the first item I sold is this fiber optic, merry, bright Christmas snowman. So anything that's fiber optic, I love fiber optics. So I pick them up because I am drawn to them. I just really, really enjoy fiber optic items. Um, if you don't know what that is, they color change um, and they're just super, super neat. But this is a snowman and I think this looks like it was sold at CVS. So it's nothing fancy. It is retired from 2003, um, stands about 15, 14, 15 inches. And I got this at an estate sale for $5 and it sold for $72. Buyer was all in for $87.52. And I did include a video down in the description to show how the item works. Um, I do have videos on this channel that show you how to add a video to your eBay description. Um, I think it's great to show that the item works and how it works. I think it can help you maybe make a sale that maybe you wouldn't have gotten if there's no other uh, comparables. The next item that sold are these vintage Addy Pleasant Company American Girl books. Um, I think they were first edition, but I wasn't sure. Um, I just included the cover page or the inside page so people could see it because I get really confused as to like first printing, first edition and all of that. So I just went ahead and showed it. Uh, these ended up selling for $46.80. The buyer was all in for $54.33. And I picked these up at a garage sale for $1. And these are all Addy. So it's all um, the same uh, character or girl from the book. Now I only had one, two, three, five, and six. So number four was missing, but these were the pleasant company, which are the vintage American girl. So if you see pleasant company, you may be able to get more for your item. The next item are these, uh, Funtasma, uh, Frankenstein monster boots. I got these at a garage sale. They're a men's size 10, 11. Um, which is kind of weird because a 10 and 11, you would think that's, I mean, is it going to fit somebody who's an 11? If it could, I don't know, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but I sold them and they must've been happy because I never heard from them. Um, garage sale, five bucks, sold them for 64 80. The buyer was all in for 85 91. This, uh, these things were big. Um, look how high the heel is. And the guy said he wore them for a Halloween Frankenstein costume. And I actually got the mask also, which I will show you here in a little bit. The next item I sold are these wood mounted rubber stamps. Um, it's There's 192 of them and it doesn't look like 192. I probably should have parted this out. It took a really long time to sell. Um, and it ended up selling internationally, which is completely crazy because the box was so heavy and big. Um, I can't even imagine, um, what the, they ended up paying for shipping and international fees for this, but I took a best offer of 80 and, uh, the buyer was all in for 101.85 just on my end. That doesn't include all the taxes and duty fees, um, which is through the global shipping program. The next item is this Play School Friends on the go, Elmo letters and cookie monster numbers, Sesame Street. I picked this up at a garage sale for $2. They were a dollar each and I sold them for $39.60. The buyer was all in for $50.45. So they're just little um, numbers that you match up to the slots. So it's like an educational tool. I was actually pleasantly surprised with what they sold for. So this is a vintage Marks Guns of Navarone playset mat. This is just the mat. I bought a whole set and I ended up parting this out. Um, the entire set. I 
pieced everything out. And that was definitely the way to go because it was incomplete. And you would be surprised what these parts are going for. This play mat sold for $50. The buyer was all in for $61 and 73 cents um, with tax and shipping. And I probably have like 10 cents in this, you guys. So um, it's really, really old. There were some minor imperfections, but considering it's a piece of plastic um, and its age, it was in pretty good condition. So the next item I sold is this vintage 1983 Dawn Post face mask. If I remember correctly, I picked this up at a garage sale. The Dawn Post masks are typically um, marked, as you can see right here. It's got the date and the information on the back. This guy sold for $71.99. The buyer was all in for $87.28. So um, if I remember correctly, it was like $5 or less at a garage sale. For some reason, I didn't mark it down. Um, I usually keep pretty good notes, but I didn't have it written down for that. So I apologize. This is a Halloween scene setters room roll. It's two pieces, um, but it actually has these skeletons holding swords. I couldn't find another one like it, so I kind of pri priced it high. And I ended up taking a best offer of $40. The buyer was all in for $55.15, and I got this at a garage sale for $5. And all of these items were cross-posted to Mercari and Poshmark. All of these items sold faster on eBay. I do use an extension called List Perfectly to cross post my items. It's just a quicker way for me to get my items on eBay and then cross post them to the other platforms. Um, I've actually had some really good sales over um, on Mercari this week. And uh, an item, I actually sold it for $100 on eBay. The buyer didn't pay. And I priced it for $200 with free shipping on Mercari thinking somebody would make me an offer or I'd do price drops and somebody actually paid $200 for it. Um, I don't think I would have got that on eBay. So it was pretty, um, pretty shocking actually, but sometimes those things just happen. So that's why I like cross posting because there's different eyes on your items. I do have a video linked down in the description. If you want to check out how that works, um, it's called list perfectly. There is a referral coupon code down there. If you decide you want to try it, you can use Bolo Buddies, all one word, to get 30% off your first month. All right, the next item is this SpongeBob um, Lego set. Again, this came from a, did I do that? I was in the other video. Um, a bulk buy on Facebook, a bunch of Legos, and most of them were just miscellaneous Legos, but there were some complete sets. Well, almost complete. And I ended up building them because I had the manual and I had the, the Legos. So this was almost complete. And I ended up selling this for $57 and 60 cents plus shipping and tax all in for $70 and 41 cents. And I paid about $5 for this when I divided it all out. So after I sold the first scene setters, I went into my local thrift and I found these two. I did pay up a little bit. Um, I paid $7.50 for both of these. These are not as fancy as the skeletons, not as rare. Um, so I did list them a little bit lower. You've got the brick and the wood look. And they actually sold super fast for $40 and the buyer was all in for $56.97. So it was a quick flip. I was pleasantly surprised by that. The next item is this vintage Crayola Halloween Boo Bucket dated 2000. It's new old stock. I got this out of a mystery box. I almost donated it. And then I thought, you know what? It's discontinued, retired from 2000. I'm just going to auction it and see what happens. You guys, it sold for $58.76. I could not believe it. Uh, the buyer was all in for $75.72. The next item I sold is this. I, I don't know if it's the Beatles or not. To me, it kind of looked like the Beatles. So I put the Beatles and then I put a question mark. It's a pendant. They have googly eyes. It's costume jewelry. I, I don't know. I priced it kind of high. Somebody shot me an offer for 55 bucks and I went ahead and took it. Um, I use a caliper to show measurements. It helps people to actually see the items, measurements, and inches. And um, a lot of times with jewelry, people want to know how big it is. 
Uh, got this at a thrift store for 50 cents. The buyer was all in for 66.17. So this was my husband's item. He picked these up at a flea market. I don't remember what he paid for them, but um, he did end up taking a best offer of 175. Uh, we had them listed a lot higher. I think we probably could have waited it out and got more, but um, 175 sounded good. So we went ahead and took it. The buyer was all in for 202.27. These are vintage Ray-Bans, you guys. Bosch and Lom Ray-Bans. Uh, these were called the Ambermatic Shooter All-Weather Sunglasses. And they are vintage. This is from the Ma uh, Mark's Navarone playset. This is the replacement elevator only. It's got the little knob and the string. And I sold this for $54. And the buyer was all in for $63.50. My cost of goods was about $0.10. Cents. Again, I bought the entire play set for about three bucks and I parted it out. So definitely a huge money bolo. This Build-A-Bear Lala, Lala Lopsy um, Peanut Big Top Plush Doll. So this is a Build-A-Bear. Um, Build-A-Bear do range from big money to bread and butter. This one's kind of, I'm going to call it big money because I sold it for $53.99. I was happy with that. The buyer was all in for $71.27. And I got this at a garage sale for two bucks. And um, I'm trying to figure out what on earth is that right there? Is that dirt? See it? That looks weird. Um, I can see the glitter from the skirt. Maybe it's, I don't know. Anyway, um, I do have a video on the top 10 Build-A-Bear to be on the lookout for. So definitely check that out. And then one of my Facebook members just sent me a Build-A-Bear that she sold for over $300. So you guys will see that in a future video as well. Just crazy what some of these go for. Um, but $53.99 on this one, I was very happy with that. These vintage zebras, they kind of have an MCM, mid-century modern look to them. They're ceramic, made in Japan. There's two of them. I just thought they were really cool. Um, I couldn't find a brand. They are marked on the bottom. Let me show you guys um, right here. Does anybody know what this mark is right here? Um, I am still very curious. I could not find it. And I just want to know just so that I know the next time I see it. But I ended up selling these zebras for $68. That buyer was all in for $85.70. And I got these at a garage sale for four bucks. The next item is this vintage Halloween signed AJC brooch. It's a spooky cat and ghost enamel pin, trick or treat. This sold really fast for $40. I picked it up at a um, thrift store for $1.50 and the buyer was all in for $47.51 and it did sell fast. Um, I got another one that was the same brand. It did not, I think I still have it listed. So it really just depends on what people are looking for, how quick it will sell. You can see it's signed right here, AJC. The next item I sold is this rare vintage Halloween scary arching die cat cut decoration. It is articulated. This did have some damage to it, um, but I could not find another one like it. I priced it high, ended up taking a best offer of 45. Uh, it came out of a mystery box, so it probably had a couple bucks, maybe a buck in it. And was really happy to get 45. The buyer was all in for $60.95. The next item I sold is this vintage Welly collectible car. It is a 1 18th 1966 Pontiac GTO die cast. So it's a bigger car. And I got this out of a dibble box from Donatella Bottolino's um, selling event. She does, um, selling events over on her channel. I do have her link down below if you guys are looking for inventory. Um, I bought a, it was like a men's box. Uh, there were some items in there that I was interested in for my husband. I can't remember what I paid for it, but I do have an unboxing on this channel. And I think it's on this channel. It's either on this channel or my sourcing with Bolo Buddies, but definitely go check it out to see everything I got. Um, pretty fun. I love buying those boxes from her. This was a dibble box, which means it's a mixed lot of a bunch of different items. It, it's a reseller box, essentially. Um, but I sold this for $45. The buyer was all in for $54.80. The next item I sold is this vintage Parachute Press 1996 Goosebumps Mask Door Knocker. Um, 
it says garage sale, but I feel like I got this out of a mystery box, so I can't remember. But either way, it is a bolo. I sold this for $45. The buyer was all in for $51.55. Anything goosebumps, I always look up. This came from um, an auction. Um, let's see. I want to say there were three or four items in this um, auction. Oh, I can't remember now. It was a small lot, but it was um, on auctions for you. It's, so it's a YouTube channel and she does auctions and selling events on her channel. I can't even remember what I paid for everything, but I ended up having about $15 in this. So maybe it was around $45 or $55 for the lot. Um, I ended up selling this for $99.99 plus shipping. This item is sealed. And it's mega blocks. I, I could not find any comps. So I kind of took a chance on this one, hoping that it was going to do well. And it did pretty good. $99.99 is pretty good, but it is discontinued, um, but not a lot of comps on it. So it, I, I think I got lucky on that one. So mega blocks don't sell for as much as Legos, but um, that was a good one because it was uh, retired. So auctions for you is also down in the description of the video. If you guys would like to check out Donatella Bottolino and auctions for you, they have uh, great selling events and I purchase from them. Um, and I do videos when I unbox them. So you can check out my channel for other items that I've gotten from them. So this is a vintage masterpiece keepsake. Silvestri, I think is how you say it. I could be saying that wrong. It's a glass ornament. It's pretty big. It's a Santa and a deer. And I did pay up a little bit for this one. I paid $8 and it ended up selling for $43.20. It sold pretty quickly. I do have another one listed that has not sold yet. Uh, the buyer was all in for $59.95. The next item is one of my favorite sales. I just love this. It's a vintage a a raccoon plush backpack. Um, I couldn't find another one like it. So I'm going to say it's hard to find and rare and it's just cute as can be. And I ended up taking a best offer of $75 on this. The buyer was all in for $97.33. And I picked this up at a garage sale for $1. The next item is this Frankenstein mask. So this is what was worn with the boots, those crazy boots at the beginning. And you can see here, this is what it looks like without the background um, remover. And I ended up taking a best offer of $51.51 on this. And the buyer was all in for $69.94. My cost of goods was five bucks. And this thing is pretty, um, pretty well made. The mouth like opens. I mean, you have to like do it with your hand, but still a pretty cool item. The next item is this House of Hatton Two Turtle Doves 12 Days of Christmas ornament, 1989. Um, original tags. You can see, let me find the marking here. Maybe. So you can see here, I think it's Denise Calla is maybe the artist. And then you can see here it's dated 1989 and it will say H and H or H of H. Uh, there it is. H of H. That's how they're marked. But if you can find these, you guys, they are definitely a bolo item. I've sold probably six or seven of these so far. And they have all sold for, I believe, over $50. One of them sold for $75. You'll see that in another video. But this one sold for $56 plus shipping. Buyer was all in for $68.83. Picked it up at an estate sale for $5. All right, you guys, that was 27 big money bolos. Items to be on the lookout for. Items you can hopefully pick up low and sell high. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you made it this far, put an, 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 ow, an ow emoji down in the comments. And be sure to check the description for links of other places I'm at, like on Facebook and Instagram and all that good stuff. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.